Directing, which do I prefer? Um, now that I am voice directing, I appreciate the times when I'm just acting a whole lot more. Uh, I enjoy it more because it's less work. <laughs> uh, it's less work. Um, but it, sometimes it's hard to turn off the director in me when I'm in the booth voice acting for someone else. There are times when I have to direct myself, like I'm in my own show or something, and that's a challenge. But it's hard to turn off that inner director when I'm directing for other people. So this is so bad, I can't believe I'm saying this, but I actually have to take my Nintendo DS in the booth with me so that in between takes, like while the director is talking to the engineer and watching and re-listening what I've just done, so I won't pay attention to them. Because, I mean, to some degree you have to pay attention in here when they say, okay, do it again, more like this, this, and this. But otherwise, if I don't have something else to do, like a book to read or a video game to play, I'll sit there and like scrutinize myself and be like, oh, or I'll disagree with the director, which is bad. Don't ever do that. <laughs> so um, I think ultimately, I, they're different jobs, though. They're like asking, uh, which do you like better, being a teacher or um, you know, being a fireman? You know, they're totally different jobs. Uh, at the end of the day, if I could just act and you know pay the bills on just acting, I would do it. I would do it. But the reason I got started in directing is because I love anime so much and I wanted to be involved with it more than just in the acting capacity. Um, but it is really time consuming and it's very tiring and the hours are demanding. I'm working on a show right now that we're behind schedule, so I got back from doing a video game in China at the end of, at the beginning of February. And I, before I came here, I worked 17 days in a row, uh, 12 hours a day. So, <laughs> and I don't make a lot of money to do it. So you really have to love the job <laughs> and love the final product. But if I could just act, I would. <laughs> I would. Uh, question. In the back, yes. just as loud as you, like in the hall or something? Yeah. That was awesome. Okay, <laughs> I think I understood. <laughs> that guy is a loud voice. Um, I think I understood. How do I feel as a director when anime fans, uh, and an actor, when anime fans uh, criticize or scrutinize my work and comparing it to the Japanese, saying it's not as good as, is that the main? more or less, or we should, I should have played the character more like this. Like they know, because they are native Japanese speakers. Um, <laughs> there, you hear that in my voice? That's how I feel. <laughs> That's how I feel. Um, you know, there's going to be criticism, and no matter what job you do, and because I love anime so much, I want to do a good job, and I want to... Um, I want to make the fans happy, but ultimately I, I have to do what I feel and what the director feels, if I'm not the director, is right for the show. And uh, I appreciate what the original Japanese seiyuu do very much. I mean, if it weren't for them, I wouldn't even be interested to begin with. Uh, but my response to people who are like, well, what you're saying doesn't match exactly how the Japan like the words that they said, I'll be like, you know, you could give this anime in Japanese to three different translators and you would get three different exact translations. And also, what is put up on screen as a subtitle, that's just what will fit in the amount of time that your brain can process what's on a screen. So even it is edited. And, or they say, well, the English version just doesn't convey the same emotion or feeling as the Japanese person did. And my response is, are you a native Japanese speaker? Can you hear in their voice the subtleties of the language? And, uh, and so it, 
it's frustrating. It's not an argument that I like to have. We usually don't get pestered too much about it. It's mostly on online forums that people complain about things like that. Um, we just do the best that we can do, and I think that we do a killer job at it. And uh, if you don't like the dub, don't watch it. <laughs> so, and that's, you know, to all of us in this industry, we work really hard. And it's so funny to me, because if they're a fan so much, why, why turn on the dub and then turn on the subtitles and compare them, just to see how close are they to the Japanese? Just watch it in Japanese, or watch it in English. If you do it that way, you're going to miss the whole story, you're going to miss the subtleties of our performances, and uh, yeah, that's, it's really irritating <laughs> when that happens. We pour so much of ourselves into the shows, and we love the characters that we play. But uh, thank you, that's a great question. I don't get to uh, be real truthful like that. I appreciate the opportunity. <laughs> Yay! Other questions? Uh, tell me when to stop, Cynthia, whenever it's your turn. Is it your turn? Five minutes. I have five minutes before Cynthia. Yes, ma'am. Can you speak like Winry? Like that? Can you speak like Winry? Can I speak like Winry? Oh, what can I say? Edward, drink your milk. Yeah! again because you, you just came in. Um, we have to mostly keep it moisturized. We need to drink a lot of water and, uh, and keep it moisturized with water specifically. Neil mentioned that. Don't, not just soda or coffee or juice or whatever, but water, 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 water. So, and then sodas actually dehydrate, so for every soda that you drink, you need to drink more and more water. Uh, that's the main thing. Water, if you feel it starting to hurt, you just have to vocalize that to your director like, I'm sorry, I need a break, and they'll give you one. Um, don't be out late in smoky places. Don't get job a different side job where you have to talk really loud, like waiting tables in the loud place, or you have to talk loud above the noise. Um, don't smoke cigarettes for the love of God. Um, <laughs> so uh, those those are the main things. Just uh, just be smart about it. Don't go to you know sporting events and scream your lungs out if you have a session the next morning. Yeah, so that's that's pretty much how it works. Yes.